plains nor their depths could claim me. All right, while we're in queue, I did want to make a tier list again. So I guess the tier should be what? Unplayable? Pray for jungle. Unplayable. Unplayable. Here, we'll do this. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. Unplayable. Pray for jungle. Lots of experience required. So Aatrox, hard. Um, we'll put only top laners for this tier. Akali, the reason why Aatrox is hard is because you have to learn a lot of different... Like, you literally have to be a very good player to beat a very good Aatrox. Like, you have to know about wave management, you have to know about cooldowns, you have to know about, um, runes, like, everything, actually. You have to take so many things into account, which makes the matchup super hard. Uh, we're doing top lane. So, Akali, I would say Akali is a solid matchup for gp top lane take ignite equals win solid matchup i'll put solid matchup auction is a hard matchup you need a lot of experience to be able to win this matchup uh yeah auction's a hard matchup he's not unplayable you just have to be able to know how to time your barrel auto attacks between his autos so that's why i would put auction at at a hard hard tier akali is a solid matchup because you can just build one no magic mantle and she can't kill you at level six and if you take fleet with ignite then you're able to just kill her or right or what you could do against the kali is um just go hex drinker and she just dies but yeah akali is a pretty solid matchup for gp next up um i'll put azir at hard lots of experience is required to be able to beat azir top lane because azir top i played against it a lot in korea and it was very very hard to find solo kills you only have one or two opportunities in an azir lane to kill him the entire game that's not a lot of space think about that in like 15 16 minutes of playing the game you have to survive and you have maybe one opportunity to kill him and you have to play perfectly. So that's why I'm going to put him hard matchup. Really, really hard matchup. Um, yeah, hard matchup. I would say... Yeah, I would say it's just as hard as these matchups here. All right, next up. We have... Um, none of these champs are top players. Camille! Camille's a solid matchup for GP. Um, I don't know how she's like after the buffs. I don't think I played against Camille after she just got her... A lot of buffs. But... I imagine this matchup is the same as always. You go to solid matchup. You go D blade. I mean, not much else to say about that. You kind of just go D blade. Uh, you respect her Trinity spike if she goes Trinity. Otherwise, with the removal of Divine Sunder, Camille is not very strong. Yeah, I, I would say that Camille is not a very strong character. So for the reasons of Sheen's gold going up and Divine Sunder being removed, I think Camille's just a solid matchup. Last patch, maybe I would have put her at the top of solid tier. But honestly, she's borderline easy with all the changes that happened. But I'll keep her in solid for now. Uh, next, we have Cassio. I would say Cassio is hard. It does require a lot of experience to be able to play against Cassio. You need to be able to learn how to space, what your barrels are, her CDs, everything. Whereas the champions below her, Akali and Camille, you don't need all that information. Next, Cho'Gath. Um, I'd put Cho'Gath under solid matchup. Again, if you're struggling, you can take fleet, or you could even just go D shield and then rush boots and you're fine. Like anything that's a solid matchup, you could even go down 10 to 20 CS, but it's still a winning matchup because you will always outscale this opponent after one item. Like Akali, you beat after one item, but you could even beat her before then, but it takes a little bit more skill for that. But regardless, you just beat them after one item. So Cho'Gath, you beat after one item. Camille, you beat after one item. Akali, you beat after one item. Next is Darius. Darius, I'm also going to say, is a solid matchup. Um, actually, no. I would say that Darius is probably top. He's he's on a Kali level. He's on a Kali level where if you make a mistake and you overstep and you don't know how to space as Gangplank, then you can find yourself going 0-10 against both of these laners. But I'm thinking about making another tier because I feel like Darius, a Kali. Ah, but left to right does matter. 
Camille and Cho'Gath would probably be bottom, bottom of solid matchup, and Darius and Akali are a little bit more harder. But Darius is typically a matchup where if you take Ignite and you go Bone Plating with First Strike, you will just win. You take Cosmic Insight, so your Ignite is up fast. You go uh, Triple Tonic, so you have four barrels at level 9. You go Bone Plating, so that when he hooks you, you eat all of the damage. Next up, Dr. Mundo. Uh, Dr. Mundo is easy or he's free win. Honestly, I don't... Dr. Mundo has no items. Dr. Mundo legitimately has zero items he can build this season, so... Like, Heartsteel is worse than it used to be, right? Yeah, uh, Mun Mundo literally has no items this season that make him strong in lane. So, Mundo's free win. Draven is unplayable. Pray for jungle. You cannot win. GP cannot win this matchup. It is impossible. You cannot out-trade him. You don't out-sustain him. You don't out-tank him. You can't beat this character. Even if you have one item, you don't win. You don't win this matchup literally until you're level 13. Maybe if you have Navori. Um, what else is there? Fiddle Stakes, free win. I don't, not many people play Fiddle Top, but free win if you play against it. GP, we're not going to put, obviously. Garen, I would say it's hard and requires a lot of experience to win. Because most players don't know how to play against Garen, and even when I make mistakes, I find myself getting solo killed by Garen. So, I would definitely say Garen's a hard matchup where you need a lot of experience to win at the highest levels. I don't, I'm not real, this isn't a low elo tier list, necessarily. Uh, I mean, it kind of is, but there's some, there's always going to be some things that stick out, right? Like, a low elo player is going to lose to Dr. Mundo, top lane, right? A low elo player is going to lose to a, a Camille every single time, you know? They're going to lose to Cho'Gath, even. So this is more skewed towards mid top, I'd say. Or specifically top lane and mid mid mid, uh, mid high elo is what I meant. Uh, Fiora, I would say hard, solid matchup. What's the difference between easy and solid though? We'll put skill matchup. Maybe instead of easy, we'll put skill matchup. Instead of solid, we'll put skill matchup. Alright, so Fiora, I would probably put her... Is, she, is Fiora harder than Darius? She can be. I'm like thinking about it. Is Fiora harder than Darius? Is Fiora harder than Akali? She can be, bro. Like, there's so many different ways you can play the Fiora. I'm gonna put Fiora in skill matchup tier. Because a bad Fiora is so easy to make go 0 10, and a Fiora who is not about it will go 0 10 as well. An aggressive Fiora can also go 0 10. The Fiora needs to know how GP works, and it's like. It, it's hard. It's hard. It, it, it's hard for the. It's hard to judge that one. So, next up for top lane, what we have is Gnar. So, Gnar, I would say, is definitely a skill matchup. Gnar is definitely a skill matchup. I'd say he's easier than Cho'Gath, so I'd put him here. Is he easier than Camille? You know what? Nar can actually be a little bit tricky. I'm actually going to put Nar at the same level as Akali, maybe even Fiora, actually. Because if you play into good Nar, which don't exist, unless you're literally playing against a professional player. But for the most part, um, you know what? Because there's only literally like one Nar player, like one, like there's a... Like, only a professional NAR can give me a hard time. Like, actually. Like, when I was in Korea, I played against Bin. And Bin was playing NAR. And that's a staple champion for all top laners who are in professional play. And I didn't die, but it was a hard lane. It was a really hard lane for me. So, for that reason, I can't put him, like... Like, if, if, I was, if I were to say, all right, I'm playing against pros every game, I'd put him, like, right here, maybe even right here. But that's not the case, so we're going to put Nar here. Next thing, next up, we have Gragas. I think Gragas is actually an easy matchup now. Um, the reason for that is because you can take D-Shield, Fleet Footwork. It's like a fake Udir. Gragas is like Udir from Wish. Gragas, yeah, Gragas, I would say, is Udir from Wish. I don't think this champion's that hard. Um, I'll put him in easy tier, honestly. Maybe I'll even put him in skill matchup, like, towards the bottom, just because, you know, this matchup, you do kind of have to know exactly what you're doing. But, 
honest to God, in my opinion, he's easy matchup, but for the sake of Gragas being this, like, slam your for slam your face on your keyboard win type of champion. Yeah, it's too dear from Wish. What is this tier list for? The hardest matchups for Gangplank. How easy or how hard a matchup is? I actually think Gwen is a hard matchup. I actually, I genuinely think Gwen is a harder matchup. I don't, I wouldn't say it's a, a very difficult matchup as the ones above it, right? But I would say it's actually hard. If you don't know what you're doing against Gwen, you will die. You will go 0 and 50. If Even if you're playing in lower elo and it's low elo GP and it's low elo Gwen, if the Gwen gets two kills, your lane is over. Three kills, your lane is over. Your ass is not recovering. Type true if you agree, chat. Type true if you agree. Like, actually true. Th this champion is slept on, but I really think she's so strong. Um, Next up, we have Graves. I genuinely think with fleet footwork... I don't know. This matchup feels so dumbed down. I'm going to say it's an easy matchup. I'll need a refresher on it, but I'll put easy for now. But just because you could take, you literally just have to take biscuits, flee, and like you take even trades every time. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't scream to me skill matchup either. It, there's nothing skillful about it. You just press Q when you have flee. How come Garen is hard? Is it personal trauma? No, it's from playing against Challenger North American Garens, Challenger EU Garens, and then Challenger Korean Garens. That's where it comes from. Um, next we have Heimerdinger. Skill matchup. I, I, I would say Heimerdinger, is he harder than Graves though? Or is he easier than Graves? That's the question I gotta ask myself. Um, to be honest, you kind of can't do shit against Heimer. Yeah, dude, you kind of... Heimer is the same level as Gragas, where you don't interact in the lane. You just wait until you hit item spikes, and then you fight. Yeah. I, I, I'd say that's where I put him. I, I, I would feel pretty com comfortable with that. The next champion on the tier list for top lane is... Alawi. Alright, so GP versus Alawi, I do think that this matchup used to be hard, but ever since the new map changes, Alawi just doesn't have the same amount of pressure anymore. So I'd probably put Alawi in skill matchup. I wouldn't say she's easy. You kind of just dodge your E and you win. Um, what else? Aurelia. Aurelia's for sure a skill matchup, but I don't know if I would say she's hard. Actually, you know what? Aurelia is on the same level as Fiora, where if you're against a bad Fiora or bad Aurelia, it's really easy to stomp them. And if you're against a good Aurelia or a good Fiora, it's hard. But I would definitely still say that GP has the upper hand. So I'd say skill matchup. Uh, I'd say skill matchup, but I'll say... Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say skill matchup, and it's like f slightly GP favored. We need another tier. We need like the no one dies tier. We need a, we need a, we need Adderow below. Nothing happens. Because where would I put Jax? Jax is also a skill matchup. Skill matchup, GP favored. We'll have a nothing happens tier for now, and we'll see what we do with that. So Jace, skill matchup. But would I say he's GP favored? I mean, I would probably say he's GP favored. Dude, being able to go fleet D-Blade makes your laning phase so healthy against Jace. I should I need a GP favored tier, I think. There's skill matchup, nothing happens easy. Maybe this should be GP favored. GP favored. Alright, so now GP favored, I will honestly put Jax for now. Which of these are GP favored skill matchups? Like from an objective standpoint, not from my perspective, right? Not me being me, but from like a Diamond Plus perspective, GP versus X character, right? I would say Jax is for sure one. Camille, Cho maybe? Yeah. I agree. All right. Yeah, GP favored 5248. All right, let's let's go through the tier list. We're kind of slacking on time right now. All right. So, next matchup we'll go is is Kaisa top ever played? I don't think I've played against eh. I think Kalista honestly is hard. Kalista used to be unplayable, 
But I think right now, Callista's kind of just hard. I don't think she's that difficult as she used to be because of Fleet Footwork and D-Shield. Whereas with Draven, it doesn't matter if you have Fleet and D-Shield. He just does too much damage. So I'm going to go off on a limb here and say that Callista is hard. So we'll put Callista right here. Is she harder than Azir? I would say she's probably less difficult than Azir, actually. So I'd probably put her right here. Yeah, I'd probably put her right here. Um, What's next? We have Karma Top. Karma Top is GP favored, 5248. With the Karma buffs that just came out, I have not played into Karma Top lane, but I imagine that she does a lot of damage. Um, the thing is, GP can just go D shield and fleet footwork into a lot of matchups, and then he's just fine. So I'd say, honestly, Karma is kind of just easy. If there was a nothing happens tier, it'd be the same, but it's like the same as Graze. It's just like wave clear, wave clear, and then. You kind of just farm as GP. I mean, not much happens. You can't really kill in this lane. She can't really kill you. Um, kind of just is what it is. So next matchup we'll go to is Kale. So I think Kale is GP favored, 52-48, but it is a skill matchup. Um, I'd maybe even consider her here just because uh, once Kale hits level 6, similar to Darius, if you're off and you're spacing by just a little bit, uh, it can get a little bit rough. I would say that Kale is harder than Jace to manage. Yeah, actually, you know what? No, she. I would say Jace is harder just because Jace has more options. I would say Jace has more options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, I would definitely say Jace has more options for sure. So we have Gwen. We have everybody done so far. Uh, Katarina is not picked top lane. Kennen is kind of picked top. No, Kennen is definitely picked top lane. In high elo, I usually see him mid lane more than I see him top. But for Kennen, he's definitely a GP favored matchup. I wouldn't even call it a skill matchup because, if, again, if you take Fleet D Blade in this matchup, you just have a good time. So I'd honestly put Kennen as easier than Camille. Or sorry, yeah, easier than Camille. I would say so Camille is harder to deal with than Kennen is. So I would put Camille right here yeah i'd put camille right there claire i would honest to god say is actually probably a skill matchup i would say he is easier to deal with than akali but he's harder to play against than these four champions and i can i can say that and not feel bad about that yeah next up is Cassante. I think Cassante is actually a hard match where a lot of experience is required. He's on a similar level to Gwen, where if you miss, if you make one mistake, it can be really punishing. Is Cassante harder than Garen? No. Is Cassante harder than Gwen? I wouldn't say so. No. Cassante is probably yeah. Cassante is Cassante harder than Cassio? Is Cassante harder to play against than Cassiopeia as top lane gangplank? That's something I got to think about. Is it harder to play against Cassante than it is against Cassio? Yeah. No, I, it definitely is. You can counter Cassio with buying boots, whereas with Cassante, it's just really rough. Just so rough all the way through. All right. Next, we will do... Um, LeBlanc. AD LeBlanc has been nerfed a lot, but it's still pretty annoying to deal with top lane. I'm not even going to put it in the tier list. I'm not going to put it in the tier list. But if I were to put LeBlanc in the tier list, I would put her at... She used to be in this tier, unplayable, pray for jungle. AD LeBlanc top was actually unplayable. I mean, it's gotten kind of nerfed. It's fallen out of... It's fallen out of, like, the meta. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to place LeBlanc anywhere. So the next matchup we'll do is Lee Sin. Yeah, Lee Sin. Lee Sin's actually GP favored. Lee Sin is for sure GP favored. I'm going to go 55-45. I'm going to go like 55-45. Like that's how favored these matchups are. I think this is 50-50 and I think this is like... Yeah, I think this is like 55-45. It's like, it's like harder, but... Uh... Yeah, Lee Sin is... Lee Sin, I would say, is right about here. He's harder than Cho'Gath. He's harder than Kennen. He's probably on the same level as Jax. 
Lee Sin's really hard, really easy to counter top. You just take Ignite and he dies. You literally just take Ignite and he, he just dies. What's next? Um, Lilia? No, Lilia's not played. Lissandra's not played. Lucian? To be honest, Lucian used to be really hard, but when you take Fleet and you go D Shield, I mean, oh, I'll put him in skill matchup tier because he's not easy. He's definitely harder than Jax. I'd probably put him about Kled level. Actually, maybe harder than Kled. Uh, Lucian's probably... Actually, Lucian's probably here. I haven't played against a Lucian in forever, but I'd imagine this is how it how it places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it in my head. I'm like, Lucian? Lucian's still pretty hard, but he's just not as hard as he used to be. Where's the good guy tier list? I can't find it. I have it right here. I have good guy, bad guy, terrible guy, guy, and homeless guy. But we have to wait. So we have to wait to finish that. So the next champion that I'll do for this tier list is... Let's try to move quicker with this. I feel like we're moving at a slow pace. Malphite. All right. Malphite is GP favorite, 55, 45. Just go D-Shield, Fleet Footwork, and you're chilling. He is harder than Kennen, but he's easier than Camille. For sure, because there's less mechanics required. There's less mechanics required than laning against Kennen. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, Malphite's GP favorite for sure. You just go D shield, fleet, second win. You can't do anything against you. Maokai. Maokai is free win. Maokai is either free win or he's easy. I'll put him in easy because there's some outplay potential, but nah, he's like free win. Yeah, he's like free win. Next, Mordekaiser. I'd probably put Mordekaiser in free win. I'd probably put Mordekaiser harder than Mundo. Is Mundo harder to play against than Maokai? No. Is Mordekaiser harder to play against than Maokai? Can be. I'll put him in easy tier, actually. Because Maokai actually can give you a hard time if you're against a good Maokai. Not too hard of a time. Like, obviously, you're just going to shit on him, but yeah. Next, we'll do... The top is free win, but I'm not going to put it. That's troll. Meanwhile, Fiddlesticks top has actually been played. Nefiri, I would say, is GP favored. But I'm not going to sit here and be like, GP hard shits on Nefiri. Ne Nefiri is a weird champion that I still have not played against much top lane at all. The only person who plays it is Ravy Demon. And, I mean, GP wins it, but it's not like by a big, large margin. It's just like, he, he just kind of wins. Nasus is easy. Because if he's AP, you just go D shield, which you can tell in champ select, or not in champ select, but in loading screen. And if he's not AP, then it's just easier. It's just easy there too. So I'd probably put Nasus as probably a little bit harder than Maokai. Yeah, probably a little bit harder than Maokai. Actually, no, easier than Maokai. It depends. If it's AP Nasus, then I'd put him like GP favored 55 45, or maybe at the top of easy. But because. Mo more often than not, you're going to see AD Nasus. I don't think I'll do that. Nico top, I would say is GP favored. I'd probably put her on the same level as Malphite. Maybe harder than Malphite. Harder than Malphite, but doesn't require a lot of mechanics. Camille, Jax, Leeson all require more mechanics than Nico does. Nocturne is... Nocturne's really easy, actually. Probably put Nocturne, like, right here. I think Nocturne's harder to play against some Graves. Pretty snowball lane. I'm thinking about all these other matchups. Olaf? So I actually think Olaf is definitely a skill matchup. I'd probably put Olaf right here. Because it does require you to be sharp with your mechanics. In fact, not even there. I'd put him probably put him here. I'd probably put Olaf here. Because Olaf does require you to be sharp with your mechanics to win. Orn is GP favored, but he's on the same level as Cho'Gath, where you can be tripped up. I do think Malphite... Where would I put Orn? Is Orn easier to play against than Kennen? No, Orn is harder to play against. Is Orn harder than Malphite? No. Is Orn harder than Nico? No. Is Orn harder than Camille, Lisa, and Jax? No. Okay, next. 
There now the reason why I'm I'm placing this in the, in the in the tier list by the way if we're talking about Orin is because so here's here's my I guess the way you guys can see how I'm thinking right right the way you guys can tell how I'm thinking is this well it says GP favored fifty five forty five these are more brain dead. Like everything from Nico to the right is brain dead, but you can still win lane. You're still favored. And even if you go even in the lane, you're winning because you scale way better. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think about it for a second. Yeah. So that those are my credentials, right? Those are that's how I'm viewing every single tier right now. Yeah, so Orn is Orn is easier to play against than Malphite. Poppy. I would say Poppy is probably easy. It's probably the hardest champion in easy tier. Would I just say it's easy GP favorite? No. I. You know what? I, I, dude, a good Poppy can give you some trouble. A good Poppy can definitely give you some trouble. Yeah, a good Poppy can give you trouble. But at the same time, I just played against like the best Poppy in NA today. And like just going D shield and just pressing Q on Poppy. I don't know, man. It does not feel like Poppy can do much in the matchup. Poppy feels like scuffed. Like, Poppy is definitely easier to play against than any of these champions here. Because it's just so non-interactive. Maybe Poppy needs to be, like, here. Maybe Poppy needs to be, like, here. Yeah, Poppy needs to be there. Because the, the way that I view how hard a matchup is, is can you die in the lane? Can the enemy uh, top laner freeze on you? Can you kill them? Poppy can freeze on you, yes, but she cannot kill you, and she actually takes damage from your abilities. Even when she gets, like, Warden's Mail, she still kind of takes damage, and you can just farm until you get Essence and pretty reliably, and you can break freezes, and you know what I mean? Like, you have so many ways to survive. So, next champion we'll do is Pantheon. I think Pantheon is probably going to be in skill matchup. 50-50. Now, which of these champions... Where would I put Pantheon? I think Pantheon's harder to play against than Gnar, top lane. They took my but I think she. I think he has more options. Quinn! Kiana doesn't really get played top lane, but maybe I should put Kiana anyways. I would put Kiana in GP favored. Uh, probably next to Nefiri. They're both kind of like zero interactive lanes, and you kind of just get one, two ruby crystals and a cloth armor, and she can't kill you. Even just one cloth armor and a ruby crystal, she can't kill you. So, yeah, champ kind of sucks. Um, for top lane at least. Next we have... Quinn! So, Quinn is a GP favored matchup, I would say. I would probably put her on the same level as Alawi. Is Quinn harder to play against than Jax? No. There's less mechanics involved in fighting Quinn than fighting Jax. Um, I would probably put her above Nico. I think Quinn is harder to play against than AD Nico top. Well, let me think, right? Because Nico gets a Vamp Scepter, Nico has the Empowered W, but Quinn can impact the rest of the map. But if you're talking about 1v1, right? then that's what matters the most. So if we're going by that metric, right, then it would probably have to be I think I think I think Quinn is probably one notch below Nico. They're kind of like the same. It's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard to to rate them. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think Nico and Quinn are the same level. I don't think one is harder to play against than the other. I think they're both equally hard. Actually, Nico's harder. I just thought about it. No, Nico's harder to play against. Nico, Nico is for sure harder to play against. All right, so how do we feel about GP versus Renekton top lane? I'd definitely say it's a scale matchup. It's harder than the GP favored ones. Um, Renekton probably belongs right next to Kled. I'd probably say playing against Renekton is about the same level as playing against Kled. Because you kind of have to be on point with your barrels, and when they dash in, you have to be able to... You have to be able to win. Like, you you really, really need to be able to perform. Um, so, yeah. I would I would definitely say against Renekton, against Kled, you need to be able to hit your barrel. You need to build maybe an early cloth armor, early tabbies. But other than that, you're chilling in the lane. Like, you you really have so many ways to go about the lane. I, I, I don't think... I don't think Renekton is very difficult at all. 
uh, personally because I played against it a thousand times. But if I were to place him, it'd be definitely right next to a Kali, or right next to a Kali, and right next to the um, Kled Kled Renekton, Kled Renekton, Kled Renekton. All right, next Rengar. Rengar is definitely a hard matchup because he requires a lot of experience and he requires a lot of knowledge of knowing how Rengar works, knowing how GP works, uh, wave management, knowing the the perfect trades. Like you need to play perfectly against him. Now is Rengar harder than Olaf? Um, in the current season, I don't know what it's like to play against Rengar, but I imagine with Sheen being more expensive and not really like, I'd probably put Rengar like probably right next to Lucian, probably at the same level as Lucian. It's kind of like he can't really interact in the lane. Okay, so the next champion that we're going to be uh, talking about for this tier list is Riven. So honest to God, yeah, this makes sense. Cannot get possibly get easier. Dan to the tier one sub to Sprite. Cannot get easier than this, Riven. We're gonna leave him there just to piss everybody off. Where would I realistically place Riven? Since this is going to YouTube, right? This video, right? This is gonna end up going to YouTube. I am legally obligated, chat. I am legally obligated to say that if I were to play place Riven anywhere, I'd probably put her hard, lots of experience, but I would not put her in unplayable. I would not put her in unplayable. Next. See, here's the thing. Here's why I would put Riven in um, this and not unplayable. is because there are opportunities. There are openings. You just have to be able to grab it. The next champion we're, we're going to go over, right, is Rumble. Rumble is for sure unplayable play for jungle. The reason for that is because Rumble always has control of the wave state. And that is disgusting. Any champion that's top lane that can tank your damage, have control of the wave, and out damages you is OP. And that's exactly what Rumble does. That's exactly what Draven top does into GP. And it's what Udyr top does into every ch matchup in the game. So, yeah. We have Rise. So Rise is a matchup that is now... I would say it's a skill matchup, but I could also say it's GP favor. It's one of those poke matchups that don't really do anything. Um, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. Yeah, Ryze is just an annoying champion. I wouldn't say he beats you, but you definitely need skill to be able to beat him because he just pokes you. He's pretty annoying. I put him I put him one step above Gragas because uh, Ryze is point and click and Gragas is not. So for that reason, Ryze will go there. Next up, we have Sejuani. Sejuani, honestly, GP favored, but still takes a lot of skill to beat. I'd put him right next to Lee Sin. Um, harder than Lee Sin because he does what Lee Sin does, but he's tankier. So, that's exactly why I take it. I take Ignite into that matchup, first strike, maybe even Fleet. Fleet's probably good. And yeah, that's what I do against Sejuani now. Alright, who do we have next? Um, Set. So, Set is a matchup where I'm not gonna say it's GP favored, I think it's Set favored. Um, I'd put him right next to Renekton. Him and Renekton operate as the same type of champion, where they try to out-sustain you, and they tr they have, like, super high base damage. Um, the thing with Set is his W obviously scales, unlike Renekton. Renekton as a champion doesn't really scale that well, whereas Set's W will constantly be scaling. Granted, it's just one ability. It's not like it's a whole champion. It's just a single ability, you know what I mean? Um, but... The way you play against them early game is very similar. Same with Kled. Like, all these champions are very much so on the same theme. Not much to say there. Uh, next matchup, we're going to go to... Shaco, free win. Shaco is free win. Shaco is very much so free win. He has zero poke. He just sits there and takes it up the butt. Next, Shen. GP favored or easy? I'm going to put it... I'm going to put Shen at easy, only because it's been a while since I've ran into a Shen that gave me trouble. And with the new HP scaling runes, like, the way... this See, these scaling runes, people don't realize how OP these scaling runes are that Riot added, right? And one of the reasons why they're so OP is it essentially nerfs any champion that has high base damage, uh, but low scaling damage, right? So Shen... Um, is a tank champion, obviously, whose damage numbers don't go up that much. However, early on, they're very strong. 
So if you're playing a champion like Gangplank, you're not necessarily fighting him much early, but after Sheen, that's when you can fight back and forth. Around this time, you're level 5, level 6, level 7, and with double scaling runes, which is what I take into this lane most likely, double scaling runes and then one adaptive and then cut down, um, it really, or, or maybe just Alacrity, Alacrity and Triumph, honest to God, or Presence of Mind, both of them work pretty well into Shen, probably Presence of Mind, that base damage doesn't mean much. Shen does percent HP though. Well, I mean, that's a factor, but that's not all the damage. You know what I mean? Like if I GP barrel someone, right? And I have, um, and, and I have, uh, hmm. Like, for example, Leandris is a great item on Gangplank, but it's not all of Gangplank's ultimate damage in the same way that Shen's abilities, I don't think they're all like 100% holistically percent HP damage, right? Otherwise his damage numbers, I don't think would ever fall off right but obviously that's not that what makes up a majority of his damage so that's not the case that's how i view it at least i don't actually know if i'm wrong or not but i can tell you from just from my experience that like any champion that has this percent hp damage right uh for top lane besides like vein it's not actually the majority of their damage it's just a way to help them i guess scale uh tldr hp very good doesn't care about anything else hp doesn't hp is very good especially on gangplank that's all you should take away from what i'm saying right now is that hp is very 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 good stat on gp so um next matchup we will go shivana so shivana is for sure gp favorite this champion is on the same tier as i would say probably malphite Probably harder than Malphite because it, just like Malphite at level 6 is when this champion scales and has stronger dueling power than Malphite does. The only problem is that she's very susceptible to dying because it's Shivana top lane and Shivana top is pretty useless. So, yeah. Um, Chat, should I play support for my next game or should I just stay top lane? I'm actually not sure. Is anyone... Is, I won't say. I kind of want to play a Twitch support game. I'm not even going to lie to you, chat. kind of want to be a degen. Let's continue, though. Singed. Easy. Free win. Easiest free win of my life. Cannot get easier than this. Singed. Actually, Singed is probably the easiest matchup in the game for GP. Actually. They, I mean, there's not nothing to say about it. He just doesn't enter. You can't. Like, it's so free. It's so disgustingly free. It's so free, it's criminal. Next, we have Scion. So, Scion, I would say, is GP favored. Technically, Scion is GP favored. Technically. However, a good Scion who's good with spacing can really ruin your life and make it very hard for you to play. I would even say that GP versus Scion is... Yeah, I mean, GP versus Tank Scion, it's got to be a skill matchup. I'd probably put it at the same level as... I'd probably put it one up above Gnar. Um, maybe I'd even put it like around here, just because like like the, the uh, no, I put it one above Gnar. See, dude, it's hard, man. It's hard when you play against these characters that are kind of like um. It, it's really hard when you play against characters like Scion and how to judge them because it could be the freest matchup of all time. In fact, in most cases, it'll probably be pretty free, but in other cases, it'll be really, really, really like. I don't know. It, it, they can fight back, you know? They can fight back pretty hard. Um, next champion will go to... I'm not going to do Skarner. There's only one Skarner top player in the world. Swain, not needed. Silas is GP favored. Easily GP favored. I'd probably put him at the bottom of GP favored along with the other assassins, right? So, Tom Kench is GP favored. I'd put him in the same tier as Orn. They work the same way. I, I wouldn't even put him above Orn. I'd say Orn is harder to face than Tom Kench. Tom Kench is just like... what? He's a one-trick. You know, the champion is, is is literally just a one-trick character. And when I say one-trick character, I mean, like, it doesn't do anything. Like, it, it doesn't do anything. It's just one ability champion. Next, we have... Tr Teemo! Teemo's for sure GP favored. I'd put him at the same level as Malphite. Maybe even one above Malphite, just he has more consistent... I'd put him with Teemo. I'd put him with Teemo. Teemo and Quinn, same exact story. Teemo's slightly easier than Quinn... Uh, harder than Malphite, would I say? Uh, I don't know if I'd say harder than Malphite. Nah, I'd put him, like, right here. Is he harder to play against an Orn? Eh, no. Is he harder to play against than Tom Kench? 
Is Teemo harder to play against than Tom Kenshi? Yes. Is he harder to play against than Kennen? Yes, I would say so. Trundle. So, Trundle, I would say, is... I would say Trundle's probably, like, right here. So, the way you kill Trundle is by taking Ignite, taking Flash, right? The way you kill Trundle is by taking Ignite, Flash, going either First Strike or Fleet Footwork. I like First Strike into this matchup. It's kind of like Wukong. Honest to God, it's like Wukong. I don't think this is a hard matchup at all, but I have to take into consideration how other people play against it. I'll put him into skill matchup. I think you do just kill him with Ignite and Flash. I'll put him right here. I'll put him in low tier of skill matchup, 50-50. Next, we will do GP versus Trindamir. So, against Trindamir... Yeah, I think you do need a lot of experience to be able to beat Trindamir. One mistake and you die. So I'd probably put him below Cassie. I probably is Trindamir harder than Rengar? I'd probably put him right here. I'd probably I'd say he's it's harder to play against Trindamir than it is against Illusion, but it's easier to play against Trindamir than it than it is against any of these other characters here on the list. Udir. Udir I think is actually unplayable, and you pray for jungle. The reason why Udir is unplayable is because he tanks all your damage. He does more damage than you. He can proxy. Well, he doesn't need to proxy, but um, he has full control of the wave all the time. If he wants to freeze, he will freeze. If he wants to push, he can push. But this isn't a matchup where you can affect the lane at all at the higher levels. So, unplayable. Urgot. I'd put Urgot as GP favored. You definitely need to have knowledge of what you're doing. I'd probably put him right above Shivana. I think he's harder than Shivana easier than Quinn. I mean, he's kind of just like a brute force. He's kind of just like brute force. Urgot, Urgot top lane is kind of just a brute force matchup. Um, so I would definitely say it's GP favored, but you definitely need to know, you definitely need to know a little bit about what you're doing. So I'm even considering him putting him around here. Like, no, it's not 50-50. You need to know what you're doing. I'd probably put Urgot. Where would I put Urgot? Urgot reminds me a little bit of Rise. I feel like about here is, a, is an accurate place to put him. I'd rather... It's harder to play against a Scion than it is an Urgot, but it's easier to play against Urgot than it is Gnar, Rise. Yeah. Like, like right, it's harder to play against Urgot than it is these champions. Yeah, you really need to know what you're doing. I would definitely put Urgot there. Varus is pretty difficult. I would put Varus right here. Varus is definitely hard, hard, very hard to play against. Lots of experience is required to, to be able to win that matchup. He just out damages you, out tanks you. Vayne is probably one of the easier range matchups. I'd even put GP versus Vayne as GP favored, honest to god. I'd actually put it above Nico. It's harder to play against Vayne than it is Nico, but the thing about Vayne versus GP is that it's very snowball-y. Actually, it's not even that snowball because even if Vayne's 2-0, I can, I can see GP killing her. Is Vayne harder to play against than Quinn? I would say Quinn is harder than Vayne. Yeah, I put Vayne right here. Or maybe Teemo. No, Vayne's probably Teemo tier. Because the way you interact with Vayne and Teemo is the exact same. The way you interact with Vayne and Teemo is literally the exact same. Yeah. You Q with well, you Q when they Q, you try to space out. The thing is, Vayne's probably harder than Teemo, though. Yeah, Vayne, Vayne's harder to play against than Teemo, I'd say. Is Vayne harder to play against than Malphite? I actually think I had good placement. It probably is right here. Yeah, it probably is right here. This is a good one. I would say Vlad is hard. You, de you do need a lot of experience to be able to beat this, and you have to take perfect trades. I'd probably put Vladimir at... Would I put him in over here? Is he harder than Aatrox? No, he's not harder than Aatrox. Is he harder than Garen? No. Harder than Gwen? No. Harder than Cassante? No. Harder than Cassio? About the same. Is he harder than Rengar? About the same. It's a different It's a different set of skills that you need to be able to play against Rengar, Cassio, or Vladimir. I would definitely say it's a different set of skills that you need to be able to win. 
Um, but with that being said, I do think it's easier than the, those matchups. Volley Bear. Volley Bear, I would say, is GP favored. But I have not played against a good Volley Bear. Uh, Volley Bear, I don't think I've played against a good Volley Bear in solo queue. Like, I've played against some GM Volley Bear one tricks, and occasionally there's like one that hits Challenger. But all the all the Volley Bears I played against on NA, EU, there was like one I played against in Korea. Um, I don't know, the matchup just kind of feels like, why did you pick Volley Bear? He's like Sejuani level. I'd probably put him on Shavana's level just because it's level six spike. Yeah, I, I I'd say I'd say Volley Bear is probably Shavana level. I can feel pretty confident about that. Next is Warwick. So Warwick is kind of hard, actually. Warwick is actually kind of hard. You do need to be you do need to be super aware of what you're doing, and if you make a mistake, you can get rolled. So I definitely put Warwick right. Yeah, I put, I put Warwick there. Wukong. So where would we put Wukong? Wukong's at the same exact level as... Skill matchup right here. This is where Wukong belongs. I would even argue Wukong right here. Actually, I'd probably argue for Wukong right here. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wukong's harder to play against than Akali. So a lot of people don't know this, but Wukong can actually reliably solo kill Gangplank even when he's down like 2,000 gold. Like, reliably. If Gangplank misses a single barrel, one. If he misses two, Wukong kills. If he misses one, Wukong kills. If he misses none, GP kills. Crazy. But, that's how the matchup works. So yes, Wukong belongs there. Next. Yasuo, the Wind Brothers. So, who's harder to play against? Yasuo or Yon? I would say Yasuo is harder to play against top lane as GP. So the reason why Yasuo, in my opinion, is harder to play against is because he has his win wall. And also, in addition to his win wall, he also has, um, I think, a stronger early game than Yon does. So I would actually say that Yasuo probably belongs right here. Yasuo is for sure harder to play against than Aurelia, in my experience. And then Yone is GP favored. I'd put G I put him right above right next to Camille. Yeah, it's harder to play against these champions than it is against Yone. If it's a great Yone, like a really good fucking Yone, right? Like when we against PC Zang or Zookill, then it goes to probably hard tier. But I think that's where he belongs. Yorick. Yorick does require a lot of experience, low key. I actually think Yorick's a hard matchup. Um, I don't know how he does with the new items. I really don't. But this is a matchup that is typically kind of hard to play. And you're kind of forced to... He's, he's like the same level as Trinimir, actually. Where's Trinimir? Where'd I put Trinimir? Trinimir's right here? Yeah. Yorick's actually kind of a hard matchup. Because... Yeah, Yorick kind of works. Nah, y Yorick, yeah. Y Yorick is probably harder than Warwick, actually. How is Riven giga easy? It's not. It's a meme. I'd probably put Riven... If I'm not trolling, I'll put Riven here. Lots of experience plus hands required. Yeah, Riven, Riven's like here. Riven, you actually have to play like pretty mechanically perfect to win the lane. It's not unplayable, though. It's playable. Zach is GP favored. I'd put him above Shivana. Probably put Shivana and Volley Bear, actually. Oh, Shivana behind Volley Bear. Yeah, this makes sense. I like this. Oh, yeah, I like this. I like this. All right. I think this is my completed tier list, actually. I had to think about it. Viego top? No. LeBlanc top? So... I want this tier list to have longevity, right? So because of that, I'm not going to include weird picks like Velkaz. Or this tier list could be a lot longer. Ah, fuck it. Why not? Let's go Let's go through it. I'll put LeBlanc as hard. LeBlanc is probably right here. I think Varus is easier to play against than LeBlanc. Or Varus is harder to play against than LeBlanc. I would rather play against... 100 Akshans before I play against 180 LeBlanc's top. 
What else is here? I'll, I'll actually place LeBlanc. I was thinking about placing Victor, but I don't think anybody plays Victor top, bro. Nobody plays Lilia top. Nobody plays Lissandra top. Nobody plays Velkos top, despite Velkos being... I'll, I'll actually put Velkos in unplayable tier. I'll actually put Velkos in unplayable Pray for Jungle tier. Yeah, Mordekaiser's free win. Maybe I should put Mordekaiser under easy. Yeah, we'll put Mordekaiser easy. Zillion? Um... I mean, there are some Zillion top players. I would put this as GP favored. Maybe even easy. I'd put it right below Karma top. Because you could just go D-Mat, D-Shield, choose not to interact in the lane, and I think it's fine. Alright, so let's check our stuff. Galio? Nope. Swain? Nope. Never see Swain. Let's play Swain, though, regardless, just so people know. He's literally right here. Like, actually, these are interchangeable. These four are interchangeable. Briar? Should I place Briar? Briar, I would say, is GP favored for sure. Tristana? No. Isn't Briar similar to Warwick? No. Briar does not have anywhere near the same amount of zoning potential and aggressiveness in lane that Warwick does. GP versus GP? GP versus GP is GP favored. <laughs> GP versus GP, I'd say GP favored. I'm not going to include GP in a tier list. Alright, this is it.